Hello there, my stamping friends. It's Jackie Ballheis from Clampin Stampers. Boy, do I have a lot of card making tips to share with you today. We are going to use the Plentiful Plants Bundle, Stamp Set and Dies, as well as the Coordinating Designer Series Paper. But now the card I make, I have a lot of tips to share with you as we're making it. Um, I think one of the big ones is, because I get asked this question all the time, I'm just not getting a good image. I'm getting kind of bubbles on it. We're going to really talk about that as well as just some general stamping tips. Now, we're going to make a super cute, adorable card, and then I have six others to share with you. Now, the additional six are actually part of a tutorial that I've put together for you. If you purchase this bundle from me, I will give you that tutorial completely free. I'll tell you how towards the end of the video how to get it. Or if you'd rather, you can actually purchase the tutorial. I'll have it over my tutorial store on my website. Now there will be links down in the description of this video that'll take you to my website. So over there you can check out that tutorial as well as other tutorials I have. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you like a catalog, you can request a catalog. and. Go to this specific blog post. The link down there will take you there, actually. And there I will have pictures of the card I'm sharing with you today, as well as the complete list of all the supplies I used and all the cutting measurements. So if you'd like to recreate this card, I try to make it as easy as I can for you to do that. So, phew, that was a lot of chit chat. We're not here to talk, we're here to stamp. So let's go ahead, flip this camera down. Let's look at these fun products and then let's make a card. Like I mentioned, we are using the Plentiful Plants Bundle in the D Designer Series paper. You will find it on pages 80 to 81 of the May to April 22 annual catalog. And like I said, if you don't have one of these catalogs and you would like one and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, hop over to my website and you can request one over there. Now, I have a lot going on on my table here because like I said, I've got a lot of sh to share and a lot of tips for using this bundle. It is super versatile and you can just do so many fun different things with it. Now, I think I wanna start by just giving you a peek at the designer series paper. It does come, let's see, I don't want these upside down, as 12 by 12s and I've cut these down to six by six pieces. Makes it a little bit easier for me to work with it as well as show you. Now, there's six different patterns or, or pages and they each, they're double-sided. So you have 12 different prints actually. Now we'll flip through the front one. This one is super fun. Um, it actually has it on both sides. So depending on how you cut it, you can make cards with that. Great foliage patterns. But these are the two I really wanna show you. You will see here, and you will see in several of the cards that I share with you, that the dies will fit the pots on here. So you can see where I've cut several out already for cards I've made, but um, I think all of them actually, no, this one it doesn't. But these and these, oh, and the round one right there, you can use the dies to cut them out. Or you can fussy cut them, but the dies make it super simple. And then on this sheet, there's also dies that will cut out quite a few of these images. So you'll see here where that one lays on there. And I think, nope, that one won't lay on there. Um, because of the way I cut it, you're not going to see. This one actually goes on here. But you'll see where I've cut these um, and they'll show up on some of the cards that I made. So just some options. Or you can fussy cut or some of the images that don't have dies, you can fussy cut. And then this sheet as well, I've seen a lot of people, I haven't done it in any that I've made already, but a lot of people are fussy cutting out these images. So you've got a whole bunch of varieties of different plants. You know, I think these are the one kind of plants I can keep alive. I don't have a green thumb at all. I love plants, but just doesn't work for me. Now, when you flip these papers over, and this is what's a little hard with this paper, is the backs are awesome to use not only with you know these products or these stamps and dies but for some just great backgrounds um, you'll see we've got some wood grain and then I love the bricks um, great size brick here and I think I use that on a card I'm gonna sh well we're gonna use that one today actually so it's kind of hard you gotta go like oh I really love this print but I want this and you got to make a decision as to which one you want which makes it a little difficult so let's set that aside and let's dive right into the card we're going to make today. Now, I have a normal size card here, eight and a half by five and a half, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different that you'll see in a sec here. 
our designer series paper, like I said, comes in sheets of 12 by 12. So if I wanted to cover the whole front of the card, I'd have to cut it four and a quarter, which means I could only get one, two, three, four out of a sheet of paper. But what I did is I cut this in strips of four so I could get three across, and then when it goes down, I could actually get six out of a sheet. So it's kind of a paper saving trick, I guess, to only go four inches instead of four and a quarter. So what I'm gonna do is take my adhesive and we're gonna okay, get that going there, put that on the back. Now, like I said, when I started, I actually wanted, cause I'm kind of into this look lately, it to cover the whole front of my card, okay? Let's glue that on there good. So we're, you know, across the top, the side, the bottom, but we're missing a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take my paper trimmer, so this is only a quarter of an inch over here, and we're gonna stick it in there and we're gonna cut that quarter of an inch off. Now, that makes my card a little bit shorter in the front, okay, but that's okay, and you're gonna see that on several of these cards I have to show you. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is take a half inch piece, because I wanna just make sure we it totally covers that opening. So we cut off a quarter inch, but we're going to take this little half inch strip and we are going to glue this onto the inside. Now you could use designer series paper here if you wanted. We're gonna just slide that right over to the edge there. But now you'll see when my card is closed, I've got that nice little green strip there, but if I'm only looking at the front, you'll see it completely covers it. So that's the little paper saving trick to make your designer series paper go a little bit longer. Now, let's do some stamping. So I have a piece of Whisper White here. Let's make sure we're in the video for you. And I don't even know the size of this, to be honest. Looks like maybe two and a half by four and a half. Again, these measurements will be over on my website, okay? So go over there to, to check them out. You'll be able to get everything to make this particular card. Now, the colors I'm using are ones that are in the designer series paper. Even though I'm not really using any greens or any of the papers with greens, I like to coordinate my colors by the colors that are shown for those designer series papers because it just gives me some good ideas for putting colors together, I guess. But you can use any color greens you want, um, whatever works for you. So all of that to say, we've got the new evergreen color, evening evergreen, and we're gonna stamp thank you right down there at the bottom. And then this, what will we call this, a vine? It's, it's like hard, I don't know what to call these plants as I'm trying to describe them. And this one, I am going to stamp, oh, let's see. It's about in the middle, I guess, a little bit up from the middle. We're gonna stamp that. Now let's set that aside and we're gonna play with some dies. Now the fun part about these dies is you'll notice these, we'll cut out these pieces right here, are pots. We can stamp all three of these pots and we can cut them out, okay? Or we can cut from designer series paper. But then there's a few dies like this one, that it doesn't cut out a stamped image. It just cuts and it actually embosses as well. So we've got kind of the mixture of dies to cut stamped images and then these standalone dies that just cut out pieces. So we're gonna use that one and let's make this a hanging pot. So we're gonna go ahead and use that piece. And you know what, we also need a scrap. Let me grab a scrap of uh, basic white. There you go. And on this one, we are going to stamp the pot and we'll go ahead and cut that out with the die. Now, here's a tip. I've been asked this a lot lately. If you struggle opening your Stampin' Up! pads, you know, they're really kind of designed like a compact that you should be able to open them this way. I struggle. They're, especially when they're brand new, they're a little bit difficult. The more you use them, they'll loosen up. But what I have found, and I'm just, this is the only way I open mine anymore, is I hold my pad like I'm reading it in both hands like this. I take both of my thumbs and I put them right on the edge up here and I pinch and it pops it open. Um, I just found that works way easier for me and flip it open and slide it in. So there's your pad opening tip. Now, the other tip I wanna share, as long as we're talking about ink pads, and I'm not sure what this one is. Let's take a look at it here. That one actually stamped pretty darn good. Now, sometimes your ink pads are gonna to be too juicy. 
um, so that when you stamp it, you don't get that nice clear image. You know, and these, especially with these stamps, because it's got all this detail in it, you don't want it to look like a blob. You don't want it to be kind of bubbled on there. So I always try on scrap paper first. That one stamped good. I'm not going to worry about it. But if it didn't stamp very good because it was too inky, I just use the back of a spoon and I push that ink off to the side like so. And that way, if it's too inky, it moves the ink. You ink up your stamp in the middle. No, I don't know. I really didn't need to do that. So it didn't do much to it. Um, but that will help you get a better image if, you know, like, it's hard to describe without seeing it, but if you get, like, all kinds of bubbles and it's just too inky on there. So let's go ahead. This one's going to cut out of there. This piece, I'm going to cut one out of Garden Green, one out of Old Olive, and then we'll cut our plant hanger out of black. So I'm going to go over to my stamp and Cut and Die, or Cut and Emboss machine and cut these all out, and I will be right back. Okay, here are our pieces. There's our plant hanger, our pot. We've cut two of these. You can see how it embosses as well. I guess those are actually little slits, but gives some texture to those pieces. So let's set all of that aside. And I think we're ready to start putting our pot together. So what I did, and there's all different ways to do this, but I really like using scotch tape. You know, we talk about all the different adhesives. I always use liquid. I use glue dots a lot. I use the dimensionals all the time. But scotch tape is just kind of another staple in my card making. Because what I'm going to do is take these pieces and I want them coming out of my pot. And so I find it's easiest if I just flip it over and stick it down with some scotch tape. And then we'll have this one kind of, oh, we don't want it backwards. We want to see that texture on there. And then we're going to have that one kind of going that way. So we can use this other little piece here. Let's stick that like so. Okay, there is our pot. Now this is going to layer on top of it. So what we're going to do here is, again, I like this liquid adhesive, but you have to be real careful. You don't need very much. And hopefully since we're on black, you're going to see how little, little I use. Okay, teeny, 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 tiny dots in just a couple places here where I know it's going to hit that pot. I mean, the stuff holds so good that that's truly all you need on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and layer it. Gosh, I had too much coffee today, I'm a little shaky. We'll layer it right on top of that. And there we go, we have our hanging pot. Now, hopefully we stamp this in the right spot because we're, there we go, perfect. We are going to layer that right on top of the vine. So we have just a little bit more, you know, greenery coming out of our pot there. So we're gonna go ahead and use dimensionals for this part because we wanna pop it up. Um, make sure it pops up really good. Three's probably overkill on there, but oh well. Dimensionals are like stampin' candy. You gotta have lots of it. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of put that in the right spot for our vine, like so. And now we need a little, you could make a hanger up at the top here, or I like to do a little bow. So I've got the, the baker's twine um, that comes in the pack of several different colors. And I guess it's kind of a sand color. Um, or gray granite, I'm not real sure. But we're gonna just tie a little bow here. Um, I like to just kind of monkey with it until I get it how I like it. Uh, it's a little big, let's pull that one down. And then we can take our scissors and we'll trim off full, all four edge ends here. There we go. Now to adhere this, I'm gonna use a glue dot. So we'll go ahead and take that. Um, Little bows, I've always used glue dots. I think they work fabulous, or little embellishments. And then I'm gonna stick that right over where that hole is. And when I press it down, I don't know if you can see, since there's dimensionals here, this actually pressed it tight against that white paper. But again, it just adds a little bit more dimension to the whole project. So there is that one. Now let's go we'll find our card here. So remember the base of our card that we started out with. And we'll go ahead and put dimensionals on here. 
Now remember, I'm going to show you the six cards, but I have a great tutorial for you that has six different cards using this suite um, that you can get for free if you purchase this bundle from me, the stamp set and the dies. Um, otherwise, it will be available in my tutorial store. And then this one, all the directions for this one or all the card measurements will be over on my website. Just follow the link over there to the blog post and you'll get those. So there you go. There is our hanging plant, one that I can keep alive. So I hope you like how it kind of shows how you can intermix the stamped pieces with just the cutout pieces as well. So super fun stamp set to play with. It's one that I think I could sit forever and just you know, stamp and cut and create and put these together in so many different ways. Now let's look at the other cards I've made. Now these are the ones that I have all the directions in the tutorial for you, but you'll see again a combination of die cut pieces along with stamped pieces. We're stamped, we're cut, a um, lot going on on these cards. Now I, I say a lot, but they're not hard. You know, sometimes I think we get intimidated by so many pieces, but these really were easy. And actually in the tutorial for these six cards, I give you diagrams if you want to do all the stamping and die cutting ahead of time and then just create the cards it makes it really fun to put the pieces together so here you can see these are all die cut from the designer series paper and here here's the plant stand okay we got the hanging plant and the plant stand and more of that background paper and then nice clean simple let that pot just show um, kind of a combination of lots of different pots and then again, several different pots. So these six cards are all part of the tutorial. Again, link in the description of the video will take you to my website. You'll be able to request this tutorial if you purchase this bundle from me. And if you've purchased it already from me, make sure to reach out to me as well and I'd be happy to give you the tutorial. Otherwise you can purchase it in the store. So back to this card here, when I originally designed this one, I made another sample for you here. Um, but again, exact same thing, same layout, same everything. I just used a different piece of designer series paper on that one. So hope you enjoyed the project. As always, reach out to me if I can help you in any way or you have any questions on the projects I made today or questions about any Stampin' Up! products or projects that I've shared with you. So I look forward to hearing from you. Leave me a comment. Show me some love. Let me know if you like today's project. And if you have stamping friends, make sure you share my channel with them as well. So thanks, guys. I will talk to you again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.